I got a bunch of stuff from Redgrass Gaming and I'm gonna unbox them for the first time and see how they feel in my hand without actually having previous knowledge except for the palette. So uh, welcome to this first ever kind of unboxing video. So here are my first um, impressions on this. Um, I really like that they shipped the brushes in bubble wrap. That means that they're aware of how brushes are being, um, can be mishandled or can have complications uh, as they're being shipped. Um, I know Vic Blick has sent me countless of brushes that have not even had uh, tubes to them or um, uh, they've just been in the package, so all the hairs are just pointing in every single direction. And this is just the extra mile that show us that, or show me, that the company really cares about the products as the, view, the, the, the customer gets them. So let's break this open and see what the brushes look like. Okay, so they have uh, these nice little round tubes that the brushes come in is very similar to um, what the what the uh, uh, Winsor Newton Series 7 uh, looks like which is very nice. Um, let's see, pop it open, it's nice and tight. And that sits on really nicely and then we wet them always in water. You don't want to just start springing them around so swirl them around into the, into the water jar. And I'm just testing the spring to see how that feels and it feels really nice it feels like it's got nice resistance to it it keeps the the, the shape tip forward there's a little bit of a of a bend to it but very minor that's something that maybe they can improve in the future but for now I mean this is this is still very very nice quality uh, of a brush so far uh, it's gonna be interesting painting with it see how long it lasts some brushes last very long and some brushes don't. Uh, so that's a test uh, that I'm going to have to do later. But a good first impression, a really nice first impression. I feel the, 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 the weight of it's very, very light. I don't really feel any uh, uh, weight to it. Um, I always put pencil holders around here to thicken the grip a little bit. Uh, that helps to prevent carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, but in terms of... Um, in terms of that, I can do myself because this is a very standard brush. It doesn't really have a whole lot of um, uh, differences to it than to, say, a, a Winsor Newton Series 7. Um, it feels a little bit shorter. Let's see if I have a Winsor Newton right here. Um, it is. It is a little bit shorter. Um, don't feel like I mind that as of right now. That might be a, one of those things that happens later on to see how I feel about that. Um, but for now, it sounds, feels good in my hand. And the other one, small one, this, that would be a size two. And then we got the size, size double zero here. Um, it's a little shorter in the, little bit shorter. Um, but still nice length. It's not like the, the miniature, uh, miniature brushes that we would, for example, see. Um, from other uh, companies like Winsor Newton where it's very very short this still feels like you can get the details down without getting a, a bunch of um, a bunch. Uh, you got a good reservoir and you also don't have to worry too much about getting paint down into the filbert so let's put those aside very nice and then we have the Precision, precision nippers. So they're saying here on the box that it's supposed to cut with a single blade. Let's see if I can get a good image of that. Maybe I need to. So it, so it cuts with one and sort of blocks with the other, so it gives it a cleaner cut, which is nice. Um, they're saying on the back here they have some instructions on how to to use it and how to not use it. It's got caution. Uh, make sure you handle them properly so you don't cut yourself or anything. It's nice. Consider it. Uh, a nice cover. A nice cover. That is not something that you see a whole lot because it's nice to make sure that when you transport it, it doesn't get 
doesn't get caught on anything or damaged somehow. Um, yeah, I can see that one side here is a little thicker and the other one is very sharp blade. So very interesting, cannot wait to, to try it out. Uh, just to kind of see how it feels like. It's, it's very small, it's very, very small. So you might have to mine that not to clip uh, thicker pieces with it because it might be tough to do so. Uh, also, this is probably not something that you want to cut metal with. You want to use your old, uh, you know, uh, clipper for that. This this is purely probably for, for plastic. Um, it's got a, got a grip to it that has texture, so it's not sliding too much. It feels like it it, it stays pretty, pretty firm into my hand, which is nice. Um, yeah, good, good impression, first impression for this one too. I can't wait to try it out. Um, and then here's my, the thing that I have been waiting for. This is what I've really been interested in. This is the, the ergonomic handle for miniature painting. So this uses a putty up top here uh, to mount a figure to it. Um, you can spin it right here. Um, I have a very large hand, so this is something, you know, say compared to um, the GW handle, which I've been using a lot, that's very much more larger at the bottom. Um, it's also clips in, uh, which isn't bad because this really can, uh, you can sculpt with this. Um, but for this, this might be very, very nice in terms of being able to, to, to not go as much like this or screw it around this is a very nice ability to be able to do so it also comes with a little bit of a putty which I'm um, I think that is what you put on top of here and then you put the base down on top of it and this is supposed to hold it and lock it down into the into the uh, uh, into place so that it doesn't slide around I really like the spin effect on this um, it feels good in my hand although I wish that it was longer uh, maybe an extra two inches or so so that uh, my pinky finger has some somewhere to sort of rest on top right now which is kind of hanging in the air because I need to hold it below this ridge right here uh, because here's where the thumb and the and the and the uh, uh, maybe it can sit like this it's, it's a little tricky but I wish that it was a little bit longer I also have really large hands so I can understand why it's probably more catered towards <laughs> average size hands, I bet. Okay, interesting. And then lastly, I'm gonna open this box, even though I've used a red grass palette for a long time, I've used it for about two years now, I was part of the Kickstarter um, team. I've been, have been using a wet, homemade wet palette for a long time, and I could not get it to, to stay. Uh, this is their, uh, this is their painter's complete pack, so it comes with uh, everything that you need, I guess, um, in terms of uh, products. So you got this, this is a smaller size, uh, which is something that they, they sent to me because I had, they, they asked what I wanted and I, I, I said, I, I really, I have a, a, an XL palette, but this might be really nice to be able to transport, you know, take home with me to paint at home or when I go to other countries and paint or I go to conventions and teach. This is a little smaller, it's easier to manage. And when I do tutorials and stuff like that, I always like to change papers even still so that people can see um, the amount of, of, or what I'm doing exactly. And there's nothing else to distract around it. So this is a really good size for that for me. Uh, this is probably also really good for the hobby painter. You don't need a large one. If you just wanna, you know, do tabletop work, you put in your, uh, your, your, Paints on the model with a little bit of wash, maybe a dry brush. You wouldn't put the dry brush paint on here, so you would use a separate uh, sort of uh, palette or, or, or a piece of MDF board or a piece of plastic or something like that to do so. Um, so this is a really nice size for that, for a travel size. Uh, it comes with two packs of hydration foam. Um, these are supposed to be long lasting, natural mold resistant and, and natural gray. I know that they recommend that every single time you change paper on this, you want to wring this out, flush it out with water and make sure that you get the previous water out of it. And that way you don't really have that smell that builds up. So 
that could be something that um, some people um, yeah here they say rinse it regularly with water do not use alcohol or cleaning agent limits the growth of mold so it limits it right so if you just have it sitting there and you just change paper and pour on a little bit more water it, it, there may be an odor that builds up on it but this is supposed to help prevent that a little bit more so that it doesn't have a, a, a bad smell i've never had a problem with a bad smell i read this when i first got my other one i've had it for two years and i wring it out every single time that i, I change out the paper and i don't have a problem with it uh and then it comes with a pack of 50 hydration uh, papers these are fitted so that it fits in here without any problems um i like it a lot and i wouldn't trade this in for anything else in the world so really really nice set of products that have been sent by really good first impressions um, I will probably test them out and then make another video uh, but for now I just wanted to give you my first impression on this uh, on these products uh, and I will be back with some more uh, tutorials and uh, videos about this brand and these products because I'm very excited about them um, if you haven't checked out any of my other tutorials, please do so. There's, uh, you can just go to my page. All of them are there. They're all free to use. There's no pay to play here. Um, if you want to contribute to our Patreon, please do so. Uh, that funds all of these videos that are for free for anyone. This is just a little fun bonus video. This is not what we put our money towards, but we want to put more money towards getting better cameras, getting better equipment, uh, making sure that everybody... Uh, can get better products out of us. We don't pocket the money for anything else. Um, thank you so much, and I hope you guys have a great day.